G'day, it's Phil here, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking through 50 cent pieces again, looking for commemorative coins, rare coins, and coins worth more than face value. Again, we've got my 50 cent collection book already partly filled with the commemorative coins we've found so far, and we're quite a ways in, even though this is uh, an early episode in this book we are quite a way in we're missing the ram's head the 25th anniversary of changeover to decimal currency and then i think uh pretty much the centenary of federations is uh is it oh no we've got the iatsis as well so five centenary of federations and the iatsis coin from 2014 but we have all of the others including the International Year of Indigenous Languages, which we quite we find quite hard to locate. So there you go. The book is there. I must say, uh, I must apologise a little bit for last week's video. I had when I was editing it, I saw that the actual hunt probably only went for about thirty three percent of the video, and the rest was other stuff, which was uh, going through the coins and going through errors and. Uh, I really don't really mean it to be like that. I'm, I'm glad if you enjoyed that sort of thing. But that's not necessarily what I'm really about. Um, more about the noodling and the coins as well. So apologies if that was a bit too long. I, when I edited it, I felt that it was a bit too long. But that's where you go. So this is the coat of arms. This is the standard type of the 50 cent piece. And at the end, I'll go through all of them looking for uh, coins with errors or that were issued for... Well, that were not issued for circulation in 1986, 87, 89, 1990, 92, 2005. And as well, I'll be looking for the 1985 and the 1993 years, which were low minted, uh, as well as uh, the low minted years of the 1920 and 21, which sometimes we will see as we go through, not, not 21, 19... Uh, for the IRB and the JC and the 20. And here we have our first commemorative coin, which is the 2005 Secondary Students Competition winner for a 50 cent piece designed for the Commonwealth Games in Melbourne in 2006. That'll go on our common commemorative keeper row. And here we have our first 2021 coin, uh, the coin that we currently don't know the full mintage of. I keep the best of the best. Uh, and then when we know the full mintage, I will decide whether to keep some or put them back into circulation. Uh, and there is the 2005 Remembrance coin, the 60th anniversary of the end of World War II. And one of my subscribers did make a mention about uh, maybe I can use any extras that I want to throw back into the bank for the Red Poppy Fund. And I think that is a fantastic idea. It didn't occur to me, even though I've been saying that for a couple of years, that we keep the extras of the new coins and when they're high mintage, when we, we want to throw them back, we uh, we do so. So what I might do is when that time comes and, I've, and we have the mintages from the Royal Australian Mint Annual Report, which will be coming out probably within the next uh, few weeks, if not already out now, here is a 2004 primary school competition winner for a 50 cent design with uh, some animals on it. And so that will probably uh, happen in very shortly for you guys uh, when the, the um, mint figures come out. Maybe I'll bring out all my 2021s, depending on what the actual mintage is and see how much I want to keep and how much I want to throw back. And here is a 2000 millennium year coin and we look for the incused variety where the flag, the cross in the middle of the flag there is incused into the coin, but that's a standard variety. So we put that down with the common commemorative. And so that sounds like a great idea. It's a, it actually will help build up the Red Poppy Fund uh, somewhat. Uh, I've been a good week or so for the Red Poppy Fund based on what I've been finding and, and how much I've sort of added uh, to the Red Poppy Fund. It's still got a ways to go. It's not like I'm going to uh, hit the target in the next month or so. It's going to be a while. It's, it's a big target, really. Here is the Silver Jubilee coin from 1977, the 25th anniversary of the reign of Queen Elizabeth II. And another Remembrance coin. Oh, 
Oh, that's a nice looking 76. I think that's a high mintage though. Yeah, 27 mm. It just looks very nice for its age. So we're not going through them. We're just going through the reverses. Here's the year of the family from 1994 with a standard date. It's a common commemorative. Uh, here's a changeover coin from 2016. The only um, 50 cent piece with the commemorative side is on the obverse. And it's the same for all the changeover coins. It is common commemorative, and I'm, but I am keeping the high, highest grade of those uh, because I like them and they're a part of the changeover set. It's a 2001 for the first time today for the Centenary of Federation, the 1912 Commonwealth coat of arms. And there's a very shiny 2014 and we'll check it for crop circle error it doesn't have it. There we go. So three or so rolls in. Uh, I might speed up a little bit. Uh, I've got a roll that had a bit of a, an accident. Uh, a couple of coins uh, fell out in the bag. Must have jostled it a bit hard. Uh, but I'll go through that quickly while I can talk about it so that no one thinks anything untoward is happening with the rolls. But yeah, the Red Poppy Fund, I'd like to add some uh, extra stuff to that. That's a 1995, so that'll be a Weary Dunlop. The 50th anniversary of the end of the Second World War. Uh, 2010, celebrate what's great, Australia Day. And in 2022, another coin that I'm currently keeping all of because we don't know even the interim mintages of the 2022 yet uh, because uh, we're waiting for the um, annual report. Uh, and when we know that, that will also decide whether or not I continue to keep those or throw them back or throw the ones that are no, well, not as high grade as, as that. Currently, pretty much every 2022 I'm getting at the moment is pretty high grade because it's the first year it's out and they're very, very fresh and new. So it's good, to, I believe, it's good to keep those while they're fresh. If you're going to be noodling or coin collecting for what you might think is a long-term hobby, then keeping the new coins as they come out in a in a, a quantity that you can afford or that you can know that you can uh, swap with people and still be happy that you've got some uh, left over is probably a good idea probably a good idea it's what it's whatever you can afford though um, if it's going to be a long-term ho hobby then down the track people who are coming into the hobby like yourself if you're coming in now might want to get older coins in a very good condition and they may they may pay a premium to do so or they may be able to swap you for coins that you might want later down the track so it's all about the community and what people usually need so that's what i try and make people aware of in the longer term There we go. So we're a few, quite a few rolls in now, and I've had a bit of a chat. Oh, here's a nice coin. Another Tall Ships, 1988, uh, the Australia's bicentenary, and one of my one of my um, subscribers, one of my viewers, commenters, reminded me to look at the date, 1988. There is a variety where there is a dot between the two eights. I've not seen one. I don't have one, but you've got to check them every time. Uh, that'll be a keeper for me. It doesn't have, eh, it doesn't really have extra face value. Uh, it depends on who you're talking to. If you go to eBay and do uh, a average of sales over the last couple of months, they are um, drawing a premium, but there are very few sales. It is quite hard to sell those coins. So I don't put any money for the um, red poppy fund on those, even though it can bring a premium 
it's very hard to sell them and that uh, that is another thing about the red poppy fund and the coins that I deem to be above face value some viewers some uh, of my other noodle noodle colleagues might believe that they are not worth that because you can't sell them uh, at the end of the day <laughs> I'm not going to justify myself but whether I sell them or not, the extra face value that I believe has been gained is what I'm willing to spend on the red poppy. Uh, if I can make money and uh, subsidize buying the red poppy, all the better. And that's great for me and my collection. Um, but at the end of the day, that's what I believe, well, the research that I've done based on sales. So... Happy to take any anyone's opinion on board, but at the end of the day, I want to get a red poppy, and if I can't find it in hunts, I'm going to have to buy it. It's just the way it is. And so, again, let's see if we can speed up. Not for very long, uh, the 1998 Bass and Flinders has broken that streak. This is the first time we've seen the 1998 Bass and Flinders today, and it goes in the common com com keeper, common commemorative section. I keep getting pulled up because I keep saying keeper in the common commemoratives. I don't keep the common commemoratives; they go back in. But I use the language incorrectly. And there, for the first time today, we have the 2002 Year of the Outback. And for the first time today, which is unusual, the 1982 Commonwealth Games Brisbane. We usually see a heap of those. And for the first time today, we have the Australia's Volunteers from 2003. Oh, there we go. We've got a couple... Nice coins to have a look at. Let me get rid of what's in my offhand. So we got a 2000 Millennium coin, which is not bad, Nick. We'll check, check that for... In Q's flag? No. It's not bad, Nick, though. We we'll might have a look at keeping that one. We'll see how it goes. But then after that, we have a Centenary of Federation, and that's a Centenary of Federation for Victoria. Now, we know we picked that up last week, and this is not a bad example it's got a bit of schmutz on it but it's definitely 
uh, for the Red Poppy Fund because we do have it in the book. So this will be available for the Red Poppy Fund. So that's a nice pickup. I was wondering if we were going to get through all the rolls without finding any Centenary of Federation. I've been very lucky with that lately, so luck's going to run out at some point. Hey, there we go. We've got an Eddie Marbo. Another a low mintage coin and one that we already have for the book. So we have an addition again to the Red Poppy Fund. Lovely. And there, for the first time, we have the 1970 Captain Cook. It's not in bad, Nick. And we are on to the last roll. So not a massively eventful hunt today. There's quite a few common commemoratives, uh, but we do have a few keepers, which is always good. So it doesn't seem like a bust. But as we go through these last few, still trying to find Centenary of Federation coins, which as we know, it'll be tough. Another Millennium. Good opportunities for EQ's flag today. It was, uh, it was nice. Too bad I couldn't find any. But there we have it. There is the hunt. And so it shouldn't take long to get through this today. But let, uh, let me go through all of the coat of arms. And I'll be back in a second to tell you if there's anything else of any note. Back shortly. Okay, so from the standard coat of, coat of arms, we've got another couple of changeover coins. Uh, one in reasonably high grade, so I might pull that one out, uh, replenish, replenish my current stash of those. We've got another couple of 2022 Jody Clarks uh, in nice order, so that's four for the hunt. 
and we had seven of the 2021s and we got another eight of the 2021s i'm only going to pull out the very high grade highest grade of those and put them in my collection and the last one is the lowest mint or lower mint 2019 jody clark so it's in reasonable nick but that's just over one million so just a nice low mintage coat of arms there so we'll put that to the side so what we got for the hunt in the hunt was a 2017 eddie marbo a low mintage 1.4 mintage one of those for the red poppy fund we've got a centenary federation victoria again low mintage and also going for the red poppy fund and i pulled out a tall ships uh, which i'm going to put into my collection as a keeper it's not that low mintage but i like to keep those ones because i like that particular design everything else will go back into the bank uh, except for this high grade changeover so lovely to see the hunt come to some sort of fruition unfortunately nothing for the book but you know can't always get everything for the book but we did pull out a centenary federation so pretty happy if you like what i do please think about subscribing give me the thumbs up leave a comment about what you're finding in your area i'd love to hear what it is around the traps that are being found but I will be back for more noodling in a couple of days. So I'll see you then. Bye.